Rebecca's Field. This is a story about Rebecca's Field. Never told this story before to anyone, and so nobody knows what the story is all about. There was a song written about Rebecca's Field, and many people have tried to work out what the song's all about. Many people have heard the song and wonder where is or what is Rebecca's Field? Today I'm going to tell you, as I'm sure you don't know. You are now 15 years old and of age to be told. Some people have their own ideas about the song, but they're not able to say what it's about because they don't know. Only I know because I composed the song. One day I was informed by your mum before you was ever thought of, and of course before you was born or could talk or walk or play or even had a name, that the midwife would be needed in June. This was because we had learned that was the time when you was due to enter into our family. It was a 40 week journey for you and you arrived at Queen Mary's Hospital on the 8th of June 1997. Of course it was good news to me because I was very experienced with children and knew the joy they brought with them into the hearts of all, except when they're naughty. I mean. Isaac had already been arrived and you know what he's like. Then Esther, Ellie and David and of course Sam and Rachel, they were all around. On here in the news I recalled the moment, that moment, wonderful moment, that had passed one night by the horse trough in a special field. But we didn't know what the field was called. And I don't even know if the horse trough is still there. But it was in Stubbington, at the corner of Old Street and Plymouth Drive, and I named it Rebecca's Field. This was because this contained the horse trough that witnessed that special moment on that moonshiny night on the eve of that day in September. It was that star shiny night in September, and by the light of the moon we decided to sow a seed together. And so we planted the seed by the horse trough. It was a magical seed, a special magical seed. We did not know if the seed would take root, but it did. And there in that field began to grow a magic invisible tree. It's like an oak tree, but only those who believe can see it. And each year it grows a little bit more. The birds of the air love this magic tree because they can see its branches and they come each day and perch and they sing their special songs. The nightingales come in the evening and sing at night and this magic tree has special powers. It's very helpful and comforting for when you feel down or sad or need cheering up all you need to do is go and sit by the tree or even think about it and all those lovely songs that the birds have sung are repeated by the tree because it sings them to you. Then of course you begin to feel much better. This is a song that I taught you when you were three years old. Do you remember? We're going to play with you because we're going to play with your dad. We love you. What's this called? This is, this is your boat, and we're going to go for a sail. Come is on. it automatic focus, Dave? It's automatic focus, yeah, come on in. And there is a zoom on it, you can get extract in and out. That's it, that's it. Right, let's... let's, let's look. There's, there's a zoom. Back. Where is she? Look, there's Ellie. Ellie, darling. Look, there's Ellie. Do you want to come and join the boat, Ellie, because we're going for a sail? We're going to Liam Sullivan, and you want to the captain, because in this film, the women take over. Women, you rule the ship, you know, we'll be subservient. Go on. Go on, Ellie. Tell us the way to turn. Um... That way. That way. Turn that way, Rebecca. That's to the port side. No, it isn't. Starboard. The port is a red wine left on the, is a red wine left on the table. That's that way. Right. So the starboard. Starboard is on the right. Where are we going now? We're going now. Ring right. that bell. We're going now. Yes. What's that over there? That's called a motorbike, Beck. Can we sit on there? <laughs> Where's Daddy's motorbike? There, yeah, he's a lovely bike. It goes 30 miles an hour, that does. Yeah, we're going to go out. Do you want to go on a bicycle? Do you want to go on your bike? Yeah? This is your birthday. This is a birthday film. This is, we're going to sing happy birthday. We can sing happy birthday, right? Ready? Ready? 
Happy birthday to you. Becca, come on, let's tell her this is. Come on. More <laughs> Enthusiasm. Yes, give her a kiss. We kiss up everything upside down this room. Everything's upside down this room. Right. It's not funny. It's Right, get in that bike, come on. Get on this bike, which is one friend of God, and then suddenly something's going to happen. Now, come on then. Get in this bike. Let's put that. It can go on the bike, it can go on there, can't it, right? You get on this bike, it takes a work for a while. This is the birthday bicycle ride, right? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. This is happy birthday ride, isn't it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rebecca. Happy, oh, I just got walloped. Happy birthday to you, right, it's something happened. Something happened. Rebecca, something's happened to you, Dad. It's happening. The hills! They're alive! The sky's alive! With the sound of music! I can't help myself! I've got to burst into song! Becca, should we go and sing the song? Yeah? Come on then! Come on in! We're going to sing the song! Come on! Come on then! Oh, no, I'm playing nice! Oh, I'm nice! In you come! In you come! There's your busy bird! Right, where's your microphone? Here it is! Mike Becker, here's your microphone. There we are. Right, here's the mic. Where's the microphone? Where's Dennis' plectrum? Dennis got to get a plectrum, hasn't he? Can't do without a plectrum, can he? It's happening. It's all happening. Here it is. Right, what is it, Becca? What's the song we're going to do? Two songs we're going to do. One. Can you remember? One. One, two, three. Star. A Why star is born. She's a star is born. Stars in your eyes, yes, yeah, sweetheart? That's it, Jim. Good. I'll just switch it off. Okay. <laughs> Possibly.